I grew up in Bermuda, a tiny little island, 22 square miles. The beach was probably where we spent most of our, our days as kids. We were always at the beach, for sure. Beach, beach, beach. Swim, body surf, boogie board, uh, surf, wind surf, kite surf, uh, stand up paddle. Uh, back in the day, I water skied a lot. I sail, of course, every form of boat and dinghy from a 12 foot sunfish to a 60 foot Morgan. I've sailed them, raced them. Anything to do with the water, anything that involves the ocean. But surfing is the core. This spring, will also, I'll be celebrating 50 years of surfing, which I find is a, is a pretty amazing to me. I never thought uh, 50 years later I'd still have such an affinity, such a love, and be actively surfing, but here I am. My sessions can be as little as two hours, as much as seven hours, uh, depending on the quality of surf. The immersion is like washing away all your iniquities, all your problems, all of your, all of your petty things that you seem to be caught up in. The minute you just plunge into the ocean, it, it, it just, you become immersed and you become somewhat cleansed, purged. I, I think we all have a part in protecting it and I think we all are in peril if we don't play our part. That's the danger. Our responsibility to our environment. The danger is our neglect to the environment, the ocean in particular. Follow your dream. Go where you want to go, do what you want to do, be what you want to be, and never doubt, never doubt your heart. Follow it, because at the end of that, your quest is your treasure. I found my treasure here. My name is Alexander Yaten Outerbridge. I, I would like to consider that would be bestowed upon me, but I, would, I, I don't think you've ever heard that come out of my mouth because there are men in this world, in Hawaii, in, in Fiji, there are men I don't even know that have been watermen without the fame, without the glory, beyond my skills and abilities. I'd like to say I'm an enthusiastic waterman, but I wouldn't call myself a waterman. If I ever get that accolade, I would consider it a, a, a fine honor. Let that be on my epitaph. He was a waterman.